So I'm up here at my campground and a couple weeks ago you might have saw another video I did on how to keep uh, mice out of your camper. Uh, we have a brand new RV and found a mouse in it one trip and uh, sealed it up outside and everything that I did to seal it with some expanding foam seems to have been helping. Keeping fingers crossed. But there's another product on the market that I'm going to apply to the bottom, bottom of my camper and um, it's called Mouse Free. So this is a product that I'm trying for myself. I heard really good things about it. How I found out about it is I have a friend that um, fixes RVs. He told me every client that has used this stuff that had a mouse problem has worked really, really well for. So you have to apply it with a, um, a spray gun, but uh, I don't have a way to bring an air hose up here and a compressor and all that. So I went out and I bought a electric sprayer from Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna go that route with it. I picked up the spray gun at Harbor Freight and at the time of this video it was like $30. I brought with me an extra long extension cord so I can plug it in because it's electric. And you just pull the solution in here and uh, this is made for paint and the solution is a little bit thick from what I heard. So I'm going to give it a go with this. What I'll do also in the link in the description of this video, I'll put a link to the electric sprayer on uh, Harbor Freight's website and also the uh, most free solution that um, I had purchased. And um, I'm gonna get going on this, so I'll give you a quick idea of what's involved with putting it on. And uh, I've got a 38 foot camper, and I heard that this gallon should be about enough for it. I just took the spray gun apart. Here's everything that comes in the box. Uh, it comes with an extended tip that you can put on the front of it right there. Uh, there are a couple of tips included. Looks like a cleaner for the tip if it becomes clogged. And here's a little tool to um, loosen up and tighten the uh, nozzle if you want to change them out. Here's just a bottle. So I'm going to fill that up some solution. So here's what the most free solution looks like when you pour it inside. It's kind of thick. So it comes out pretty, pretty thick. I'm going to hook this up and let's start spraying it. So the product says, uh, do not apply on fiberglass body panels, brakes, air filters, sensors, engines, generators, radiators, or any other part that is not the frame or in the undercarriage. So this product is specifically to be sprayed on the frame and the undercarriage like your RV. So I'm gonna show you real quick how it sprays out of the Harbor Freight electric sprayer. Uh, it's a little loud and remember you just wanna to stick to the end of the carriage and um, either of the frame rails. So you know what, it wasn't really too bad doing it this way. Uh, it took me about an hour, kind of took my time, went around, hit the frame rails like the direction said, uh, hit the undercarriage, and I uh, just kind of worked my way around, got on my back a little bit, got under it, and uh, went around, you know, the sewer pipes and anything like that, like the water lines hanging out, went around all those areas. Um, we had put some expanded foam on those areas uh, earlier in the summer, and I have a video on that, how to keep mice from getting in. And uh, this is another preventative. So if you guys have any questions, um, trying it out right now. <laughs> so be sure to drop me, you know, a comment if you have any questions or, you know, if, ask me how it worked out. Uh, hopefully I'll take the cover off this thing in the uh, spring and uh, there'll be no critters in there and nothing staring me in the face. But uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It'll help us out a ton. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.